Let's take a look at several examples of converting an angle in degree measure to radian measure. And to do this conversion, we're going to multiply by a unit fraction. Let's discuss briefly where that unit fraction comes from. 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So if we take this equation and divide both sides by 360 degrees, as we see here on the left, and then simplify, we would have pi divided by 180 degrees is equal to 1. This is a unit fraction. But we could have also divided both sides of the equation by 2 pi radians, as we see here on the right. And if we did that, we'd have the unit fraction 180 degrees divided by pi. To help determine which unit fraction to use to do the conversion, it helps to think of 135 degrees as a fraction. So we'll put it over 1. And we know if we want to convert degrees to radians, we need to simplify out the degree measure. And we can do that if the degree measure is in the denominator. So we'll use this unit fraction to convert from degrees to radians. And we'll use this unit fraction in another video to convert from radians to degrees. So we're going to multiply all of these by pi divided by 180 degrees. And then we'll simplify and then we'll multiply. 135 and 180 have a common factor of 45. There are three 45s in 135 and there are four 45s in 180. And the units of degrees also simplify out, so we're left with 3 pi divided by 4 radians. And we're going to do the rest of these the same way. But it is a fraction, multiply by pi divided by 180 degrees. Here we have a common factor of 60. There's 160 in 60. This simplifies to a negative 1. There are three 60s in 180. And then again, the degrees simplify out. So we're left with negative 1 pi divided by 3, or just negative pi divided by 3 radians. Put the 15 over 1, multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Here we have a common factor of 15. So this simplifies to 1. And there are 12 15s in 180. So we have 1 pi divided by 12, or just pi divided by 12 radians. And we'll take a look at one more. 48 and 180 have a common factor of 12. There are four 12s in 48, so this simplifies to negative 4. And there are 15 12s in 180. So here we have negative 4 pi divided by 15 radians.